I'm Hulk Hogan, the greatest wrestler of all time. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. You got space, man, huh? No, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't go anywhere without getting a boner. How you doing? I live my life. Woo! The Rock says, Sweet baby Jesus in the office. Well, 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 everyone. I hope you're doing well today, so... You're watching the Wrestle Rock Podcast Season 5, ladies and gentlemen. I am with my partner, Benoit, a.k.a. Nostradamus. Ben, how's you going today, my friend? Fine, and you? Yes, I'm going super, super great. And you know what? I wish you all the best for a 2024. Uh, you too. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Friend. Yes. Happy New Year to all the Wrestle Rock stars. Yes, sir. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a uh, very good person you know we have an actor uh who started his uh acting career uh in the mid 80s uh, i'm talking about sean canaan hey my friend how's you going today uh, hey how are you thank you for having me on ah You're that's welcome. awesome we're going super great and this is awesome that we're starting our season five with mr uh canaan uh, this is an honor and privilege that you can accept our invitation. That's super awesome. Uh, well, uh, we're going forward with uh, a simple question. So uh, can you um, tell us uh, what kind of child Mr. Cannon was? What kind of child was I? Uh, I grew up in Western Pennsylvania. I grew up in okay. a small city. Okay. Uh, we lived in the suburbs. Uh and we were about five miles from the Amish people. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Interesting. So it, it was. Uh, it was interesting. Um, I, you know, I. Um, I. I wasn't real popular. Um, okay. I. I was. I was. A, that was kind of an insecure kid for quite a while. Then you know I got involved in martial arts, and that really yeah. helped me develop my confidence. Yeah. And um, that's helped so much. Um, yeah, for sure. I, I went away to boarding school um, when I was 16. Okay. And that was, you know, that was that was a, a very formative experience, you know, being uh, away from my family. Um, you know, there were parts of it that were very hard. Uh, from there, I went to when I graduated, I went to Boston University and began okay. studying political science and took my first acting class there. And that's really... Okay really when it crystallized for me that I wanted to be an actor. And so I realized that I would need to either move to New York or Los Angeles to pursue my acting career. And I always joke that it's easier to be broke where the weather's nice. So I decided to move out to Los Angeles and I transferred to UCLA, finished my degree in political science and just started knocking on doors. Um, I, you know, it's funny. I used to watch wrestling all the time when I was a kid. Oh, oh okay. nice. wow. my, my, awesome. my family owned a chain of jewelry stores. Okay. But in the beginning, some of those stores sold electronics. So okay. I would go down on Saturday morning and I'd go hang out at the store and I'd, I'd sit on the floor and watch TV and I would watch nice. wrestling and then I would watch, uh, there was a, a channel that had scary movies. But nice. I, I love watching wrestling. These were, these were guys like, um, Oh my God! Like the Iron Sheik and like yeah. um, um, uh, uh, Bruno okay. San Martino and yeah. um, um, Ivan Putski and yeah, uh, Kill nice. Khan. And wow, the, the guys like that. And, yes, yeah, Killer Khan so, passed away uh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago, yeah. Yeah. December twenty eighth. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's so, so sad. So, uh, you know, wrestling wrestling was uh, kind of a, a staple part of my childhood. Oh, nice, interesting. Yeah. So. Uh, like that's us, super cool that <laughs> yeah. you, yeah, of course. And I uh, go ahead, my friend. Yeah, yeah okay, uh, Mr. KN, uh, can you tell us about your uh, martial arts skills? Uh, my martial arts skills. Well, you know, I, martial arts is something I've been involved in off and on for most of my life. Uh, I okay. still train, 
Um, you know, I like to joke that I can probably get my ass kicked in five different styles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know, do you have to do uh, a joke? But, you know, martial arts for me is really um, had a profound effect on okay. who I am as a person. Uh, you know, I think it instilled self-discipline and humility and, uh, you know, all, all the best qualities that martial arts has, um, I've, I've tried to adhere to. And um, I love it. It's made a huge difference in my life. I don't, I don't think I would have gotten the role of Mike Barnes without having a martial arts background. So, um, you know, it's something that hopefully I'll be doing uh, for the rest of my life. And, and you're going to uh, Los Angeles for... Mm -hmm. Uh, your acting career and you mentioned that uh, you knock uh, multiple time on a uh, multiple door so how were you initially approached to start your acting career in the mid 80s well um you know like i said i, I knocked on a lot of doors mm -hmm. and i eventually got a manager and the manager was able to get me an agent and the agent was able to get me some auditions and I, I eventually got some small jobs. And then okay. I heard about the open call for Karate Kid three. Yeah. And, uh, I, I showed up, I was, I was one of thousands of guys that showed up to try to get the part of Mike Barnes. I imagine. And I wound up getting it. Nice. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, how did you secure the role of Karate's bad boy, Mike Barnes in the Karate Kid Part 3, especially considering that the role was initially intended for uh, Jonathan Avildsen, also known as uh, Snake, of course. Snake, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I went to the open call and I, okay. I auditioned uh, okay. with, with Ralph Macchio. Oh, yeah. And okay. I, I thought it went pretty well. You know, I, I thought I had a really good chance at getting the role. And unfortunately, uh, about a week later, I, I found out that they had hired someone else for the role. And oh, okay. after about maybe 10 days, uh, they fired the guy and they called, really? me back, they called me back. Wow. And uh, I went to go meet John Avildsen and Robert Mark Kamen and uh, Sheldon Schrager, who was the... Uh, um, producer for the studio and we had a fairly quick meeting and they said okay you got the job and wow sent me right to uh you know i think i went to wardrobe and i met the fight choreographer i mean it happened very very quickly i, I didn't even have time to call my family for a while uh and it was obviously life-changing okay uh we've noticed your uh, cooking book release and the videos you share about cooking what uh, sparked you your passion for cooking for cooking ah uh, that was my first <laughs> book uh yeah oh yeah that's your first yeah book. the modern gentleman cooking and entertaining yeah with Sean. so when yeah, i was in college i didn't have any money to take girls out to fancy dinners but i figured if i could <laughs> if i could cook them a good meal and get them over to my place then maybe i'd have a shot so uh i i've, I've loved cooking for as long as i can remember um my mother was a great cook i i okay. loved her Um, I lived in Italy for a while and I, I picked up some things over there and, um, you know, I, it's, it's something that I find very therapeutic. You know, I love being in the kitchen, making something and I love feeding people too. You know, I, I, a big message of that book is that food is an amazing conduit to building relationships with people. Good uh, and, and so, um, you know, it's, I, I do a lot of the cooking uh for me and my wife and um you know i i just i've i've always been really fascinated by uh different cultures um mm -hmm. I, i've studied different languages uh throughout my life and i i love uh, you know i think f the foods of every every culture has an amazing food and i i think it's a great way to get to know a different culture um so you know that's another one of my passions Nice. And how were you, uh, you have been approached to, um, for the role um, of Cobra uh, Kai. Barnes in Cobra Kai Season 5? Well, obviously, when it was announced that they were going to be doing a show based on the Karate Kid franchise, I was pretty excited. Uh, yeah. And I hoped at some point that they would, um, they would bring Mike Barnes back. And, you know, I had to, had to wait a while, but... Um, <laughs> 
eventually uh, I got put in the game, right? So uh, um, I had a, a Zoom meeting with John Hurwitz and okay. Jacques Feld, and they, they kind of gave me an idea of what I would be doing. And I, I didn't really understand it at first. They, they were telling me, well, you know, Mike's, Mike's going to have a furniture store. And I was like, what? <laughs> but, you know, I, I, obviously, you know, these guys are brilliant. And uh, I had, you know, I trusted, I trusted that it, they would come up with something really interesting. And, mm -hmm. and they did. They did. And so, you know, it was, uh, it was a fantastic experience. Uh, Big part of season five. And now uh, season six is starting, which oh, cool. is the yeah. biggest, uh, yeah, the, the biggest so far. So that should be really exciting when that comes out for everyone. Now, now, and uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yes. okay, of course. Okay, you play uh, Dick and Sharp in the, the Bold and the Beautiful series. Uh, what's what's like to star in a TV series that's been running for over thirty years? Well, listen, uh, it is a, a fantastic job. Um, I love the people I work with. Mm -hmm. um, I've played this role off and on since uh, 2000. Okay. So to to be able to play a role for 24 years is something really, it's a blessing in this business. Oh, I'm passionate really rare. now about the role and about the show as I was when I first started. And, um, you know, it's uh, Bold the Beautiful is the most watched daytime drama in the world. Uh, it's seen yeah. in, oh. seen in I think forty different countries. It's in the Guinness World Book of Records. Uh, oh, and, really? Oh, and yeah. So Bill, 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 Bill. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, very nice. Congratulations for for, for that. On yeah, a, congratulations. Honestly, yeah. I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> Super. And we would like to air you um, something. Can you explain what the way of the cobra is? Yes. So, uh, way of the cobra is my third book it's got it right here nice just came out on just came out on audible the audio book which i narrate myself nice so uh way of the cobra is a personal development book it's the strategy okay. and philosophy that i've used to achieve my success to overcome some significant challenges uh cobra is an acronym it's formed from the words character optimization balance respect and abundance and oh, the book okay. is structured that i'm the sensei you're in my dojo and okay. chapters are divided into belts and uh it's been incredibly successful it's in its third printing um just came out in italian it's coming out in french uh and the audio book just came out like i said and then there's the sequel which is also available on amazon which is called welcome to the kumite and all right like what sport yeah the kumite is uh an epic battle against your greatest opponent your greatest opponent of course is yourself so mm -hmm. how do you how do you win that battle well you win it by emerging every day as a wiser kinder stronger more self-aware version of who you were the day before nice and if you want to support uh mr cannon go to sean cannon um uh, and or we of the crowbra.com yeah, we can the visit yes we can uh, visit a, a section called shop and uh, there is um <clears throat> sorry uh, books uh, called um blue uh, blue uh, blueprint to weight loss um if you want uh, this book uh, is is oh, available yeah, on not, it's, it's not it's not I'm sorry I didn't mean to interrupt you but it's not a sorry. book it's a, oh it's not it, a book it, no not a book it's a weight loss seminar okay so it's okay okay sorry yeah. but That's you fair. have a uh, you have your book. book that that we'll talking about uh, yeah. on your website so yeah. there is a uh, different sections on the website so you have mm -hmm. book acting comedies and and yeah. coaching of course right. and uh, if you want uh, limited edition stuff in um, autograph photo signed by uh, Mr. Cannon. So go to seancannon.com, uh, uh, seancannon.actor no. or, or uh, wayofthecobra.com. Exactly. Sorry. Um, it's my bad. So uh, go ahead for uh, for another question, my friend. So yeah, we would like to hear you from you about how you got recruited for the young and the restless. 
Well, okay, so uh, The Young and the Restless and Bold and the Beautiful are kind of sister shows. Uh, okay. We shoot at the same studio. Actually, our our studios face each other. Is a um, spin-off. Is a yeah. spin-off. Well, okay. It's a spin-off. There we go. And uh, so, you know, my, my character was very popular on Bold and the Beautiful, and it <laughs> afforded me the opportunity to go over and play the same character on Young and the Restless, uh, which is really fun because, you know, there's, there's, there's only a handful of characters that have crossed over to two shows and uh uh it's it was really really a great experience to work with uh all the terrific actors on young and the restless nice and um just for ending as usual i gave you uh, a couple of names and in a short word tell us something about them right okay. so uh pat morita Pat Morita. Well, I grew up watching Pat Morita on Happy Days as Arnold. And so I knew him well before The Karate Kid. And then when I saw him in The Karate Kid playing this amazing character, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Mr. Miyagi spoke to all of us, I think. Uh, <laughs> the wisdom that he imparted is timeless. And to have had the opportunity to work with him years later was just incredible. Uh, it was it was a wonderful experience. He's a very very talented guy. He was very kind, um, and he's he's very missed. Yeah, he passed away in 2005, if I remember. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, Ralph Macchio. Ah, uh, Ralph, uh, the Karate Kid himself. Ralph's a terrific guy. Really nice. terrific. Um, it was wonderful to go back to Cobra Kai and have the opportunity to reconnect with ralph all those decades later you know not as two young guys but as two two men who've now worked in the business for a long time um he is a really down-to-earth good guy a leonardo dicaprio i do not know him but i'm a fan of his movies <laughs> all right and uh, anika noel oh anika noel who plays my uh my daughter on uh the bold and the beautiful, terrific actress, wonderful person. Just saw her the other night. Uh, I I adore working with Annika. Um, nice. Yeah, you know it's uh, it's it's always funny to see when someone is cast to play your family member. What people think that family member would Probably. look like. She's she's beautiful, so I'm very honored. And for ending, uh, Sean Cannon. Yourself, me? yourself, yeah. What, 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 what do I think about me? Listen, you know, I'm, uh, I am a guy that is still passionate and loves what I do. Uh, nice. I am, you know, passionate about my family, and my writing and my my coaching clients, and I just feel so blessed that you know, almost 40 years after starting my career, I'm still able to <laughs> earn a living doing what I love, mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, I think the best is yet to come. Nice. And as usual, um, for closing this episode, <laughs> uh, Nostra da Ben, it's all about the French prophet. The, that's why he my has, grandfather uh, <laughs> he has uh, this uh, his nickname. So he tried to predict the future of our guest. So go ahead, my friend. Yeah. First <laughs> of all, first of all, Mr. Cannon, thank you so much for the interview. It was amazing. <laughs> Okay, don't worry, Terry Silver will not burn your furniture shop. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I predict to you, you're gonna have your star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame eventually. Wow. Yeah. Well, wow, that would be that would be something. Thank you. Well, let's uh fingers crossed, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yes, thank you so much for the interview. Uh, it was a pleasure. Uh Practically 20 minutes of your generous oh, yeah. time. So, oh, my pleasure, Jonathan Benoit. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, I uh, I love Canada. Uh, it's been a while since I've been there, but um, just you know, um, amazing, kind, strong people in your country, and uh, you guys are like our, our our you know brothers and sisters up there. So, uh, it makes me so happy that you guys are all fans of uh you know karate kid cobra kai the bold and beautiful and i look forward to the next time that i have a chance there's to a lot of talents all there. around the world thank you uh, and we repeat once again but if you want to uh, support uh sean cannon so go to uh, uh way uh, way of the cobra.com 
for all details or buying uh, essential books. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you so and much, you guys. Day, my friend. Have a wonderful 2024. Wishing you all the best. You too.